What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist and today I bring you more lore on the Warhammer 40k and 30k. More specifically, today we are going into the Forge World models known as the Secutari, which are a part of the Adeptus Mechanicus. So these guys came out, I want to say September of last year, that's uh, 16, and they look pretty badass. They're basically an upgrade kit to your old Skitari models, and I just love the look of it. I can't wait to field these. I'm thinking that they're going to be a part of my Celestial Sons. Um, maybe they're going to be like the protectors of the Titan that the Celestial Sons have hidden away. Um, but we'll get more into that later. This video is going to be about the Secutari and their weapons. So without further ado, let's dive into their lore. The Secutari are also known as the Titan Guard, and they are a military force of the Adeptus Mechanicus Collegia Titanica. Developed long before even the Imperium ever existed, these troops were developed in parallel with the Skitari legions of Mars. The Secutari act as the honor guard and protectors of the Titan legions. While the role of a Titan is to shatter a fortress or blast enemy formations to ruin, it is the role of the Secutari to eradicate such threats its survivors might still oppose to the Titan as it presses onwards to more important targets. The Secutari devote themselves to hunting down and slaying those who seek to flee from the Machine God's wrath. The Secutari Axiarch the Axiarch is a type of battlefield commander used by the Mechanicum Secutari Guard. These officers display perfect dedication and application to the Secutari's art of war, but also serve on the battlefield where a fallen titan has been successfully recovered or protected from the enemy. This is most holy a task that a Secutari can perform, and as such the Axiarchs are seen as blessed by the Omnissiah. Once this criteria has been met, an Axiarch is remade and upgraded into a being that is inhumanly stalwart and nigh indestructible. They are typically equipped with an Arc Maul, a Radium Pistol, as well as a Refractor Field and the Titan Shard Armor. Now we'll get into these weapons after we finish with the rest of the Secutari types. The Secutari Hoplite Hoplites are a type of Skutari warrior of the Secutari Titan Guard. Their role is to mop up survivors left in the wake of the advance of the Titans of the Adeptus Mechanicus. They use short-range weaponry that nonetheless can devastate enemy armored vehicles. They typically go into battle with an Arc Lance and the Mag Inverter Shield. And lastly, we have the Secutari Peltast. Peltasts are a type of Skutari warrior of the Secutari Titan Guard. Their role is to mop up survivors left in the wake of the advance of the Titans of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Peltasts are equipped with longer range weaponry meant to counter enemy infantry. This includes the Galvanic Caster. And now we dive into their weaponry. The Arc Maul is a type of melee weapon used by the Skitari. When activated, it becomes a rod of lightning that causes enemies struck by it to convulse until they are nothing more than scorched corpses. The Radium Pistol These weapons are so volatile that they eventually kill their wielders. Their purpose is not to slay the enemy with a blast of radioactive force, but to also render the battlefield in a deadly rad waste. Each weapon's bullet cylinder is so thoroughly bathed in radium that a volley can cause a localized radiation storm. Those inside soon find their flesh blackening and gooping away into nothing. A refractor field is a generator which projects a protective energy field around the user. Its effect is able to disperse the energy of an incoming shot or blow over the total area of the field. This field, although less reliable than that of Rosarius, can stop even the powerful projectiles of the last cannon and plasma cannon. Refractor fields are uncommon, but within the Imperial Guard, they are generally used by officers and engine seers. The white scars are also known to use them. And a much more rarer version of this technology is the reductor field, which rather than trying to stop projectiles, tries to cushion their impact to a point where they are of no danger to the wearer. Commissar Yarick is known to wear this variant. The Arc Lance is a type of arc weapon used by the Admech. Wielded by the Hoplites, this powerful spear is akin to an Arc Maul 
used by the Skatari Legion. This Arc Lance inflicts damage through short range blasts, of course gaining energy augmented by an inversion field mounted in the paired mag inverter shield. Thus the weapon is capable of both making a melee and a projectile attack. The mag inverter shield is also used by the Admax Sakutari Hoplites. It is a highly sophisticated relic that existed before the Imperium. It incorporates a powerful inversion field generator at its core. This generator is sufficient both to enhance the shield's resilience and provide power to its accompanying arc lance. The Galvanic Caster This caster is a type of galvanic weapon used by the Admech, more specifically, the Secutari Peltasts. This electro-galvanically driven projectile weapon is akin to a combi weapon. With its main weapon mechanism, it is able to fire rapid bursts of low-velocity razor-edge flechelets or, with its secondary discharger attack, conceal targets with its retina-burning Ignis charges. Some of these weapons are upgraded with a high-intensity capacitor, which compresses the galvanic charge to fire an armor-piercing, inert, slut shot at supersonic velocity. This complex but flexible weapon allows the Peltas to engage a wide variety of enemy targets. Now, as I've stated before, these Secutari were part of the Collegia Titanica, so here's a little bit of lore into that. The Collegia Titanica was formed before the age of the Imperium, and it was the primary military arm of the Adeptus Mechanicus before the Union of Mars and Terra. After the Treaty of Olympus, the Whiting War Machine of the Collegia Titanica joined the Legio Astartes and the Imperial Army in the Great Crusade to conquer much of the galaxy. As this new Imperium expanded, the Adeptus Mechanicus took many worlds for themselves. These planets were settled and converted into Forge Worlds, and became the bases of new Titan Legions. The Collegia has four divisions, Divisio Mandati, Divisio Telepathica, Divisio Investigatus, and most importantly, the Divisio Militaris, which actually includes the Battle Titans. These divisios are further divided into a number of legions or orders, groupings of titans such as the Fire Wasp Legion or War Griffin Legion, and each one of these legions is a self-contained unit headed by a Grand Master. And that is all the lore that I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think of the Secutari. Do you guys think they're pretty badass? In my opinion, I like them. Uh, they're basically like the little... I don't know, like the like the lapdogs of the Titans. They kind of just wait for scraps that the Titan didn't kill and finish them off. I don't know. They're they're pretty cool. They look pretty cool at least, and uh, I like what their weapons do. Pretty devastating stuff. But the Skatari overall is pretty devastating. Just ask Gersh One. He collects them. He doesn't have a force actually done yet, but hopefully soon he will, so I can go up against these Skatari. Now let me know if you guys have actually fielded these in battle or played against them, how well they actually do on the battlefield. Um, they're toughness 3, so they'll probably die really quick, but I just want to know exactly how well these guys play. Since I do plan on using them in my own uh, army one day, perhaps, maybe, who knows. Actually, yes. <laughs> anyway guys, let me know what else you guys want me to cover. Uh, is there any other war gear and weapons of anything else that you want me to do? Um, or is there any other character that you guys want me to focus on? Just leave me any suggestions in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our uh, previous videos this week because there is a few giveaways uh, in the Plague Marine video, so check that out. Also, head on over to our Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, and Facebook pages where we post each and every day. Especially on Facebook because that's where all the 8th edition stuff is, so check that out if you want to know what changes are going on, and there's a lot. And as always, guys, that's all I've got for you. I am the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I am signing out.